Hello and welcome to our beautiful hotel spa where we aim to provide each of our guests with a very tingly, relaxing experience. How can I help you? You're here to check in for your spa treatment? Okay, can I please have your full name? Mm -hmm. And can you please spell your last name? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Ah, yes, here you are. I see that you're down for three o'clock. You have a foot massage scheduled, and your spa therapist is actually one of our top spa therapists, and her name is Melody. Not only does Melody provide an outstanding, relaxing foot massage, but many have said that they often get intense tingles at the back of their scalp, down their shoulders, and along their back when they hear her speak because she has a very soft, soothing voice. So you are in for a wonderful treat today. Not only will your feet be pampered, So, I just need a couple of questions answered to put in our database, okay? Can I please have your address? Yes. Mm-hmm. And your zip code, please. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I also need a phone number. Mm-hmm. Do you have an email address? You do? Okay, go ahead. At gmail.com. Okay. Perfect. Just a few more questions. We need the name of a contact person just in case of an emergency. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just their phone number. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay, and just a couple of medical questions. Do you have any known allergies we should know of? No? Okay, good. Okay, any medical conditions that we should know of? Any history of heart problems, lung problems, skin conditions, history of seizures, anything like that? Mm-hmm. Take any medications? No? Okay, good. Wonderful. Okay, so just a couple of things that you should know about our spa. We like to enforce a very strict whisper policy just to help ensure that we create a very relaxing atmosphere for all of our guests. Okay? We have a lounge area that you can visit before and after your treatment. We have teas, beverages, and healthy snacks there for you to enjoy, as well as magazines and books. There's a beautiful water fountain and a fireplace where you can just lounge and relax, okay? Now we're going to direct you to the change room where you will be able to undress and inside of your locker, there will be a spa robe and slippers for you to change into, okay? And then once you've changed, you're going to meet me in the lounge waiting area that's personally just for you. And there, I'm going to offer you a complimentary scalp treatment. That's right. We find that people, when they come to us, are very stressed and they have a real hard time relaxing and unwinding. So this is our way of ensuring that you mentally prepare for your spa treatment so that you will be fully in the moment and relaxed when you're in your session, okay? So,
here is the key to the locker room. You're just going to go down the corridor all the way down to the end, then turn right, and the change room is right there. Okay? From the change room, you'll go down the other corridor to the left, all the way to the end, and that's where your personal lounge waiting area will be, and I will be there waiting for you to commence your spa scalp treatment. And that's where Melody will then complete the foot massage for you as well. Okay? Do you have any questions at all? No? Okay then, off you go and I'll see you there in a little while. Okay? I must say that you look very cozy in your spa robe. Are you feeling warm enough? Yeah? Okay, good. If you get cold or feel chilly, please let me know and I can go grab a blanket for you. Okay, good. Now it is part of our spa routine to offer a complimentary scalp treatment before your official spa session to help you mentally prepare for your treatment so that the relaxation process has already begun. So by the time that you are in your session, you will already be feeling relaxed and your relaxation will only deepen as the treatment progresses, okay? We find that very often people are very, very stressed, very tired when they come to us and they have very busy lives and it's very hard to just turn that all off all at once. It just takes a bit of time to wind down and so this is why we've been offering these complimentary scalp treatments just to help you mentally prepare for your session, okay? So I like to begin the scalp treatment with a very light hair brushing, okay? That will just prepare your scalp for the treatment and it'll also help to detangle your hair so that the scalp massage won't feel uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm going to use a very special brush. As you can see, this is a paddle brush and it is designed and decorated with some very shiny beads. And I would just like you now to close your eyes and just listen to the sound of my fingertips as I lightly stroke the beads with my nails. And just allow the sound of the light tapping over you. Many people find this sound can trigger a nice tingly sensation. Enjoy the sound. Let it wash over you. Okay. So, I'm going to begin by gently brushing your hair. Please let me know if I pull your hair or cause you any discomfort.
And as I brush your hair, just imagine that all your worries, all your concerns are being brushed away as well. brush from the top of your scalp all the way down to the ends of your hair brushing away all of your worries all of your stress each brush stroke your mind is slowing down and you're beginning to relax Brushing away all your troubles. Brushing away. Brushing away. Brushing away. Becoming more and more relaxed with each brush stroke. Gliding the brush from the top of your scalp. all the way down to the ends of your hair top of the scalp ends of your hair soft light brushes So I'm just going to put this down. How are you feeling? You're beginning to relax. Good. And so now we're going to begin the scalp treatment itself. Now that we've brushed your hair. And now that you're beginning to relax. We'll begin to treat your scalp give it a little massage and hopefully further deepen the state of your relaxation okay so for this scalp treatment I'm going to make up a little oil blend that I will be applying to your scalp and to your hair and then I'm going to work it in and give you a really nice, gentle scalp massage just to work it in, okay? So I'm just going to put together my recipe 
And just so you know, I'm going to be using some coconut oil, which has been warmed up, so it's nice and warm. And I'm going to infuse it with some rosemary and some tea tree essential oils. Okay. As well as some other little ingredients that will help hydrate and nourish your scalp and your hair. Okay. So I hope that you'll enjoy this. Okay. So, I'm just going to prepare my recipe and you just continue to breathe deeply and just relax. Okay. blend and I'm just going to mix it up okay. and I'm just going to pour it into a little container here a special brush and I will be painting it onto your hair and scalp and then I'm going to work it in with my hands but before I do I just want to have a look at your scalp and your hair just to see where I need to focus okay where I need to put a little more extra oil for the treatment okay so just let me have a look Just let 
me look one more time. Just hold still for one moment. So I'm going to use my brush. It's just a very special brush. And I'm going to paint the oil blend onto your scalp and into your hair. Using the brush will just ensure that I'm going to get every inch of your scalp. for you. Such a lovely aroma. Okay, this side's almost all done here. Most of it all in there. Very good. Okay. Good. Now, I'm going to use a pair of gloves just for hygienic reasons. Now that we've brushed your hair and oiled you up just to keep the hair clean, I'm going to use my gloves. These are special gloves just for this. Okay, so I'm going to begin the massage portion of your scalp treatment. I'm going to begin with a very light pressure. And then I'm going to work up to a bit more firm, but I don't want to cause any discomfort. So if at any time the pressure is too much, please let me know. Okay? Okay. I'm just going to begin now. How's that? Okay. You're finding it relaxing. Good. And I'm just going to make sure that I rub it in really nice.
How's that pressure? Okay, good. You just take some nice, slow, deep breaths as I massage your scalp. Massaging away all your stress, all your tension. Relaxing more and more. Okay. And now I'm just going to work it into your hands. Okay, now I'm just going to take my gloves off and the last part of the treatment is I'm going to apply a little cap over your head. It's like a shower cap. It's clear and plastic and it will lock in the moisture of the oil. And we're just going to have that stay on for a little while. You have just a little bit longer before your foot massage with Melody. So while you're waiting, we're just going to keep that on your head. And at the end of your foot massage, you'll then be directed down to the shower room where you can shower and wash all of the oils off your head, off your feet, and just refresh in before you get changed. Okay. So going to put that on you now. It's a very thin plastic. It looks just like a shower cap. Okay. And I'm just going to put that over your head. There we go. How's that feel? You good? already. How are you feeling? I'm so glad to hear that. So as I mentioned, we have just a bit longer before Malady will come and complete your spa treatment with your foot massage. Now while you're waiting, would you like me to grab you a cup of tea? We've got some herbal blends, or you can also have a glass of water. Some water? Okay. I'll go get you some water. You just lay back here, relax, do some more breathing, and Melody will be in shortly to complete your spa treatment. Okay, I hope you enjoy your foot massage. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Okay, relax. Okay, I'm going to begin by warming the lotion in my hands. Rubbing it into the feet to warm up the tissue on the feet. Just nice, 
these effleurage movements with my fingertips and thumbs. Just stretching the toes with my thumbs. From the left and the right. Now gently just stretching the toes with my whole hand. Applying a little bit more lotion. This lotion has a very um, non-oily um, texture. It's almost like water. So it is um, very nice for foot massages. Just massaging the whole foot. Still warming the foot up for the massage. From the ankles, to the heels, to the soles of the foot, and up to the toes. Circular motions around the ankles. Up the sides of the foot, all the way to the top, to the tips of the foot. the toes again. Just relax. A foot massage helps to ease tired feet and helps to put the mind at peace. Massaging the ankle, the tops of the foot, my whole hand all the way from the ankles to the toes. Okay, now just rubbing the arch of the foot with the palm of my hand, from the heels to the toes. From the heels to the toes. the foot with my hand, the heel of the foot. Doing this gives me more access to the sole of the foot. Opening up the muscles of the foot and the ligaments in the foot. The arch of the foot can be sensitive, so it's important to do this with firm but gentle pressure because it can be painful. movement, but switching hands. 
Using a different hand gives massages a different part of the foot because I'm also gently squeezing the outside portion of the foot. and embrace the calmness. gentle tug from the heel this gives the leg a nice stretch loosening, loosening up all the joints and ligaments this promotes greater circulation Now massaging the top of the foot with my fingers, tracing the bones, between the bones gently, and applying gentle pressure to the arch with my thumb, all the way to the big toe, giving it a nice gentle tug. Down the foot to the heel, tracing the area between the bones, all the way to the next toe. Again, giving the toe a nice tug and pinch. Back down to the heel, and up to the next toe. Down to the heel, back up to the next toe. And lastly, down to the heel and back up to the little toe. Now, stretching all the toes with my thumbs, just going from my left thumb to my right thumb, stretching the Continuing the massage with both of my thumbs through the soles of the foot. Massage stimulates circulation and warms the feet. Avoid digging into tender points. It's important to press firmly yet gently. Now, massaging the side of the foot in a gentle fashion, circular motion, all the way up to the big toe, and then back down. circular motions on the heel and then moving that circular motion all the way up the foot remember not to dig into the foot not digging into 
assess the foot um, in the beginning of the massage during the effleurage movements because it helps us to become acquainted with the shape of the foot okay. now I'm going to move on to the other foot this is the Cetaphil daily lotion with organic calendula, sweet almond oil, and sunflower oil. It's paraben-free, colorant-free, mineral oil-free, and hypoallergenic. Warming the lotion in my hands so it's not cold when it's applied to the foot. Now I'm just rubbing it into the foot. Massage is very good for moisturizing feet as well. Sometimes feet can be dry, the skin on the foot can be dry from being barefoot or wearing sandals so it's important to pick a good lotion that is also a good moisturizing lotion because you might as well get the benefits of moisturizing the foot during a massage. And it's better to use too much lotion than too little lotion because we want the massage to be enjoyable and not tugging on the skin. So just, again, using long effleurage movements and holding the heel in my hand, which allows me to have more access to the foot. Just giving the toes a nice stretch from the heel through the sole, up to the ball of the foot, and giving the toes a nice stretch. Now just massaging the top of the foot with my hand. This movement is just for relaxation. Going between the bones of the foot and gently pressing through with my fingertips. Sometimes there could be little knots on the foot and we want to work them out very gently. Again, massaging from the heel up to the ball of the foot. So it's important to be very gentle um, with the foot because there can be tenderness in this area. So you want to just massage the foot all the way to the ball of the foot. 
very gently. It will release the tension though, so it is important to massage that area anyway, even if there's a little bit of tenderness. Sometimes using the palm might be better than using just the thumb because the pressure is a little more even than with the thumb. So just stretching the toes. Stretching out the toes. Just massaging the ball of the foot with both of my thumbs from the right to the left. From the right to the left. I'm moving up the toes, continuing that movement, up through the toes. Now, stroking through the foot, up to the toe, giving it a nice tug, and circular massage. Next toe. Giving the toe a nice tug and pinch down the foot and back up to the next toe. And giving it a nice pinch and tug. Now holding the foot, the heel cupping it with my hand. I'm going to use my other hand and go up the foot, up to the toe, and giving it a nice circular press and tuck. Down the heel, back up through the ball of the foot, to the toe, and giving it a nice circular rub. Now I'm noticing that this foot is particularly tight. The toes feel like they have a little bit of tension, so I'm going to separate them, massaging through the sides of the big toe with my thumb. The next toe, doing the same thing across the middle of the toes. Moving through every toe. Giving them a nice stretch. Very relaxing. Feels very nice. It's hard to stay awake. sleep. It's very beneficial because the tired muscles will be relieved. Down the foot and up the foot with both of my thumbs. Down the foot with my palm. Back up with both of my thumbs. Butterfly motion at the top and back down. motion and back down. Very nice. Relaxing. Very peaceful and calming. So, circular motions on the side of the foot 
edge of the foot and my fingers up the top of the foot Circular motion around the ankles. All around the ankle. Very good. Now, circular motion around. down, I'm going to begin massaging the bottoms of the foot. So just working from the balls of the foot up to the heels with this lovely palm press. Pressing with my fingertips through the palm, through the bottom of the foot, up to the heel. Again, again now, with my fingertips at the ball of the foot, I'm going to do circular motions on the ball of the foot. Using all three fingers allows for a nice gentle pressure This pressure is a little softer than the thumb because the thumbs tend to have a little more strength because they have all the strength from your arm to push through with and the fingertips are a little more gentle. Now pressing the palm up the arch to the heel holding there for a moment and then going back down on the sides of the foot and gently pinching the side of the foot all the way down repeating that motion circular massaging through the ball of the foot And then gliding up, allowing the palm to press up the arch to the heel, holding that press for three, two, one, then back down the foot, pinching the sides of the foot all the way down to the little toe. the heel, down the sides, to the back, and giving the big toe a nice tug. Now that you're thoroughly relaxed, you can continue to just stroke the bottoms of the foot from the heel to 
the ball of the foot from the heel Just stripping the side of the foot to the toes. Going making three straight lines from the heel to the arch to the big toe. From the heel to the middle of the foot to the little toes. And from the edge of the heel down to the little toe. 